Hey everyone, Mark here at Discover Your Home. Thank you again for joining me tonight. And tonight we are going to be talking about, let's say, painting your local doctor or dentist office. Sounds good. Okay. Um, a lot of times, uh, you know, they get neglected because there's so many people going through there and usually the, uh, they're sick or need to be taken care of. So uh, a lot of times they get a few moments to, to, to sit around the, uh, the, the uh, waiting room to take a look at your place. So um, what I'm going to recommend here, obviously you run a small business, whether you're a doctor or a dentist and you can't shut down business you know you gotta you gotta keep the customer happy uh very rarely you're gonna find uh doctors and dentists serving uh serving their patients at 2 a.m don't find doing it maybe there's a maybe there's an opportunity there for you so um so what i'm going to recommend here is see if you close your your office down at the end of the day find a professional that'll come in after hours be able to take care of it while you're at home sleeping away thinking about the next day and we'll be ready for you the next day so you and your customers can have a brand new place uh, for them to come to so what you want to do is you want to address a lot of the areas that are the high traffic areas and then you're going to talk about probably the, the uh, exam rooms uh, so let's start with your entryway there again you don't get a second chance to make a first impression that's important. You know, when you open that door, you don't want to be seen torn wallpaper or beat up drywall. Freshen that up. That that probably needs to be done more frequently than not because obviously everybody has to go in and out the entry door. So make sure the the entry entryway is taken care of uh, immaculately. You know, it's just there again. It's that first impression of your business and what does that say? So you know, I always tell folks step back pretend you are the customer the end consumer and they're walking through your place now look at it from their perspective and see what it tells you you know i think um i think it's one of those things that we just we like cleanliness and fresh and and clean and orderly uh makes more sense than disorder clutter dirt and all that especially in areas where people are sick or they're having to come get some uh, some uh, sort of procedure done. They they want to feel as pleasant as possible. So then we move on down to the waiting room, where you're going to spend probably 20 to 30 minutes waiting, and people are looking around. Well, if they're not looking at their phone, they'll be looking around. And if they're a contractor, they'll be looking around and you know eyeballing stuff. So. You want to make sure that that waiting room is light, bright, fresh. Um, there again, you know, any torn wall covering, make sure it's 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 taken care of. Uh, freshen up the paint. If you've got a chair rail going around the room, make sure that chair rail is fresh. It's either stained or painted. Just keep it fresh. I think it's very important. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised on people's attitudes when they're around uh, an area that is clean and fresh. Then you've probably got hallways and common areas that are, you know, going down to the exam rooms. There again, carts get pushed through there, medical carts, uh, gurney sometimes, wheelchairs. Those areas get beat up. You might want to be able to um, you know, put a, um, uh, you know, a handrail on there or, um, you know, plastic rails. So, uh, you know, if you've got a lot of wheelchairs coming through, you want to make sure those areas are covered. Uh, putting in some sort of plexiglass along the bottom or there again you can go to a middle or higher end you know doing a stone or or maybe a some sort of prefabricated material where it's a little bit more durable than just say drywall so that's just the thought there again doing this doing all these things at nighttime so in the morning you're ready to go to serve your customer bathrooms are very important uh, I don't know if it's just because I'm 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 in the in the trades, but uh, you know the one thing I I you I don't think you can put enough stock in it is a clean and fresh bathroom. Uh, you've gone into the not so clean, not so fresh bathrooms, I'm sure, and you're like, man, that was disgusting. But 
Have you ever walked into a uh, a, a doctor's office or a dentist's office? And like, wow, this this is incredible, and it's done very well. And especially in today's environment, um, we're really kind of catering more to our to the end consumer and really making it almost feel like a home or even like a, a beautiful uh, upscale hotel room where you'll find that you'll do there again, maybe do some tile as far as a wainscot with a little bull nosing, kind of clean it up. And then that keeps your maintenance cost down. It'll, it'll drive your expense up uh, if you're going to install it. But over time, you'll get that back because you won't have to be maintaining it as often. Uh, and then finally, patient rooms. <clears throat> you know, I'm going to say, you know, since I, I, I don't go to the doctor all that often, but when I have, I think depending upon the amount of what you need to be taken care of for uh, determines the amount of time. I would say on average, I would say 20 minutes to 30 minutes is the amount of time. And usually you don't have your phone on or you might, but you're kind of looking around and stuff. So, you know, just make sure it's orderly and clean, you know, fresh coat of paint. Uh, there again, you might want to change and put a, you know, a, a, a type of wall covering or somewhere along the line you're putting a you know a stone or porcelain tile you know somewhere down low where it's it's taking the abuse where you know you know feet and and knees are are bumping up against the wall these are areas that you really kind of want to address and make sure they're really fresh you know uh, try to keep track of the cycle you're you're taking care of these things and then you can kind of manage your costs a little bit better so uh, thank you again for joining me. I'm Mark. This is Discover Your Home, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again.